Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Polygon and that's because Polygon's new blockchain, Polygon ZK EVM, their ZK rollup has been doing pretty well. Uh, I'm excited to try it out and I wanted to show you how you can move your funds over to Polygon ZK EVM so you can try it out yourself. Now to, for those of you who don't know, Polygon ZK EVM is a new zero knowledge rollup blockchain and I know that is a mouthful and I know that some of you might not understand what it is but essentially it's a layer two blockchain to help scale ethereum um, and it's got really good technology uh, a new ecosystem probably will have some really cool applications in due time uh, and I think it's important to go and check it out explore and I wanted to bridge some funds over there so how do you bridge some funds that's exactly what we're going to go through today um, now you can use the official bridge by the Polygon team, the native bridge, and that lets you go from and send your Ethereum, your Matic, USDC, USDT, DAI, whichever kind of token you want to move from your Ethereum network to the Polygon ZK EVM network. Um, but I don't want to use the Ethereum network because gas fees are pretty expensive. So instead of using a native bridge, we're going to use some of the third party bridges. Um, they have a few of them written down over here. So Bungie, we've got Seller, Orbiter, Layer Swap. You know, there's there's a plenty of bridges here. Uh, I'm just going to pick Orbiter uh, because I've used it before and it works really well. Um, and you can choose a variety of chains from here. You can go from the Binance chain, Starknet, Optimism, uh, Ethereum, the actual Polygon chain, ZK Sync, and obviously Arbitrum. Um, and some of you might not have your funds on any of those chains, but it's very easy to get funds onto Arbitrum. And so I think it's probably one of the easier ones to, to use. Um, and so that's what I'm going to use. So I've got some USDT. Again, you don't have to pick USDT. You can pick uh, USDC or you can pick native ETH itself and bridge that over. You probably will need to get some ETH over there anyway, because you have to pay gas fees in the Ethereum token on Polygon ZK EVM. Uh, because it's an Ethereum rollup. So you might want to bridge some ETH. I've already done it on this wallet anyway, so I just want to showcase some uh, some Tether that I found in this wallet, uh, and I'm just going to send that over. So yeah, first of all, select however much uh, Tether you want. Um, for some reason, it won't let me pick more than this, so this is the maximum that it's allowing. So I'm going to send over 18, let's make it a round number. Uh, 18 USDT, I'm going to get 18 USDT minus a little bit uh, because of the small fee onto the Polygon ZK EVM network. Um, so yeah, select the chain that you want, select the asset that you want, uh, connect your wallet uh, and click send. And it's pretty simple. Uh, they have a small withholding fee, that's why. Um, so I am actually able to send 19.8. Anyway, we're going to click confirm and send. I'm going to pay the transaction fee. And the good thing about using Arbitrum is transaction fees are super cheap. You know, this is costing me 12 cents, which is pretty good uh, compared to if I were to do this on Ethereum, this would cost me $20, $10, etc. So yeah, we, we try not to use Ethereum for things like this. I mean, Ethereum is fantastic, but this is why, this is why I love Arbitrum. This is why everyone loves Arbitrum. Um, so yeah, that's all you have to do. It's processing now, so it shouldn't take too long we'll see I, I guess sometimes this can take maybe 20 minutes or so but you can see that we've already got a timestamp and uh yeah we can see the animation that it is going to come um and uh yeah that's pretty much all you have to do once you've done that your funds are now on the polygon zk evm network and you can go and use all the wonderful applications that are available there um if you guys are interested i will do a video covering some of these different applications but that's essentially it a very very easy way to bridge over you can see my transaction is now completed that took 20 seconds or so um Feel free to use some of these other bridges as well. I'm not familiar with all of them, if I'm being honest. Um, but, you know, some of these bridges don't have tokens. So, you know, you can speculate on the idea that potentially they will have tokens and you might be eligible for an airdrop. Um, otherwise, if you really, really want to, if you have your funds on the Ethereum mainnet and you want to use the native bridge rather than third party bridges, yes, you can, you know, enter your ETH here and send it from, from the Ethereum mainnet directly to ZK EVM network. You can do that. Um, but yeah, just be aware you will be paying a little bit extra in terms of gas fees. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. I hope that explains it. Use Orbiter Finance because it's pretty good. Um, I've used it before. Um, and yeah, that's all you have to do. So smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you'd like to see any specific content. And I'll be back with plenty more content in the near future.